Dear viewers, welcome back to MLS ACP Crash Course video series. Today we will discuss about the very initial topic from blood bank section which is donor selection and blood collection. Let's now talk about the registration of a donor. First, we register the donor into the hospital laboratory system or uh, hospital information system. Second, medical history and questionnaire. Physical examination by a physician uh, for the blood pressure, temperature, uh, pulse and many more. If the donor is not rejected uh, in the physical examination, then uh, we will proceed the donor for the blood collection. So our first step uh, would be vinipuncture. So for the vinipuncture, we will have the preparation of the vinipuncture site. Uh, so the basic reason uh, for the preparation of the vinipuncture site uh, is to minimize the risk of bacterial contamination. As we know that human skin contains normal flora, uh, which is usually uh, bacteria, and uh, we already know that uh, blood is uh, enriched media and it can support bacterial growth. Okay, so scrub the uh, puncture site for at least 30 seconds. So this 30 seconds uh, is very important uh, for the examination MCQs. St uh, and our method, uh, our procedure for the vinipuncture should be that uh, the scrubbing should be start uh, from inner to outward directions uh, as uh, you are watching in this video no infections no infectious skin disease or scar indicate you of drug abuse if there is a uh, if there are multiple scar so this is a, uh, this is an indicator for the drug abuse okay so general uh, information regarding the blood collection so maximum collection no more than 10.5 ml of whole blood per kilogram of body weight including sample Samples mean those samples which we collect during the blood donation for the screening uh, purposes of the donor or a patient. So, if a donor is taking any kind of medication or drug, that must be evaluated by a physician or a doctor. Okay, then, uh, for example, if a donor who have taken the aspirin within the last 48 hours, that may irreversibly affects platelets. Function must not be used as a single source for platelet apparatus, but is suitable for a pool of platelets. Uh, this is a typical uh, questionnaire form uh, which contain the patient's uh, demographic details and email, contact number and donation type, whether this donation is volunteer or directly for a patient's about the patient's weight, general appearance, temperature, pulse, hemoglobin, skin lesion, etc. So uh, we can see that uh, a medical physician or doctor will evaluate the donor and that uh, particular doctor will ask from the donor uh, about the, some basic questions that are you feeling well today, uh, are you currently taking any antibiotics or any other medication for an infections, uh, any history of vaccination, surgery, drugs, etc. Um, any medical conditions such as diabetes, blood pressure, etc. So this is just for the understanding purposes. This is a typical uh, blood uh, donor questionnaire. Okay, so basically what is donor selection criteria? Uh, age more than 16 years are confirmed by state law no maximum age evaluation by a doctor so here uh, it is usually dependent by the state as well because here in my country pakistan the max uh, or the minimum age for a blood donor uh, is uh, should be at least 18 year of age body temperature should be less than or equal 13.75 celsius or 19.5 fahrenheit Blood, blood pressure should be less than or equal 180 systolic and uh, less than or uh, equal to 100 uh, diastolic. The HB and HCT should be uh, equal or more than 12.5 gram per deciliter both for the male and female and the HCT should be equal or more than 38%. Pulse should be between uh, 15 to 100 beats per minute and the weight should be minimum of 50 kg or 110 pounds 
so what is basically the donor rejection so we usually reject a donor uh, if he or she is not suitable for the blood donations so uh, and there are furthermore uh, uh, two types of the rejection one is temporary and the second one is permanent so uh, now we will discuss about the, perma- the the temporary rejection so uh, usually we have to reject a donor for the two days or uh, 48 hours if the donor has taken uh, aspirin if donor is a sole sore subplatelets okay then for two weeks if the donor has taken any vaccine in particular for the measles mumps polio typhoid yellow fever etc and four weeks if he has uh, or she has taken the vaccination for the rubella or chicken pass if the donor uh, is uh, uh, if the donor has pregnancy uh, and delivery uh, basically uh, it would be usually after the delivery so we will have to defer that particular donor for the six weeks one year temporary possible exposure to hepatitis hiv or malaria so a person uh, who has uh, received hepatitis b immune globulin uh, possible exposure to hepatitis hiv and malaria or uh, a person who is the recipient of blood or any blood products okay one year temporary possible exposure to hepatitis hiv or malaria okay so if a person has uh, a procedure of tattoo mucous membrane exposed to blood skin penetration with instrument which are contaminated with blood and body fluids such as needle stick and or any person who has sexual contact with in individual symptomatic for the any viral hepatitis confirm hepatitis b surface antigen or hiv for completion of therapy for syphilis or gonorrhea or vecto sexually transmitted disease uh, a traveler to the endemic area of malaria with or without malaria drugs remember plasma preparation without rbcs are exempted from this restriction as malaria transfer through red blood cells or any uh, person uh, who has uh, uh, for more than 72 hours in a correctional uh, institution such as in jail etc so three year temporary uh, uh, rejection rules is basically for the possible exposure to malaria asymptomatic during the time visitor immigrants from an endemic for malaria previously diagnosed with malaria okay so remember uh, once again that uh, plasma preparation without rbc are exempted from the res- uh, from the restriction as malaria transfer through our uh, red blood cells so uh, now we are discuss about the indefinite uh, or permanent rejections so uh, definite disease are habits strongly associated with blood burn pathogens so these are basically the viral hepatitis after the L- um, after the age of 11 positive confirmatory test for the hepatitis b surface antigen and a positive hepatitis b virus pcr test repeatedly react your test for the anti hbc okay donated only one unit to a recipient who developed post transfusion hepatitis hiv or human t lymphocyte virus infections present or past infection of hcv htlv or hiv other disease uh, uh, for which uh, the donor uh, we will have to be reject permanently including uh, those persons who receive uh, a dura mater or pituitary growth hormone of human origin family history of cjd or risk of uh, vcjd so basically the cjd stand for the cruciferdit uh, uh, jacob disease okay or history of chagas disease or uh, baby cosis let's now talk about the uh, cjd or vcjd so basically the cruciferdit jacob also known as cjd is a rare brain disorder that leads to dementia it belongs to a group of human and animal disease known as prion disorders so what is a prion a prion is a misfolded protein that can transmit its uh, misfoldness to normal variants of the same protein and trigger cellular death prion cause prion disease known as transmissible spongiform encephalopathies that are transmissible uh, fatal neurodegenerative disease in 
humans so basically the post transnational uh, modification during the protein synthesis is uh, uh, thought to be one of the most cause of this disease